recent culinary or not so recent culinary adventure that you had. And it could be around the block or it could be far away, but something that was an, a, a wonderful discovery for you. I was recently in Spain and, you know, I've, I've, for the past year or year and a half, I've been really trying to go more into this whole molecular gastronomy kit, which is really kind of interesting stuff. And it's not quite as space age as it sounds. It's not? No, and it's a guy out of Spain called Ferran Adria. Adria, yeah. And uh, he had this restaurant, which is no longer in business, unfortunately, called El Bui. And uh, it was voted, I think, world's best restaurant five years in a row or something. So anyways, I'm getting all this crazy stuff. And I'm getting these scales that weigh with, you know, within a tenth of a gram. And getting all these crazy ingredients and trying some of these new, new, new dishes. And I'm thinking... <clears throat> At that point, we were going to go visit my daughter in Spain because she was uh, studying abroad there. And I thought, this is, this is a great opportunity what to, a coincidence. To, to see this stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, I couldn't get into him. His restaurant is no longer right. around, but he's got disciples all over Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And so I went to about yeah, three or four of those restaurants. And, and so I got to see, you know, my version of how I stumbled through some of this stuff, and these guys that worked under under him for years, and it was it was amazing. There was one restaurant called Spoonix, which was it was an old house. It sat in, everybody sat family style. Everybody, it was one service. You went in there. <coughs> I think we went in there at eight o'clock or something. Nobody knew each other. We went with my, my wife, my daughter, and I went along with you know a bunch of strangers. We sat down at the big table, and you got what you got. I was able, we were able to get, watch. There was an open kitchen. I don't mean open like a typical restaurant where you see the cooking. You could go in there and watch them cook. So you could go in. Yeah. Really? So so I just stood there the whole night and, <coughs> and watched watch these guys do things that I you know that I've done or attempted to do in some places and failed miserably. He, he had a, a technique called uh, uh, that was you know still pretty. Pretty popular called uh, spherification. There are different types of spherification. So if you took olive oil, for instance, and put it in a in a bath of, of what they call calcium acetate and sodium calcium, it, it creates a membrane. Around it. So when you bite into it, you have a sort of a solid. And when you bite into it, it's a thin membrane with the liquid still there, so it flows in your mouth. So it's a very unusual sensation. Yeah. So there's like a party going on in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds wonderful. It's pretty cool. What an experience for you to have been able to do that in Spain. Yeah, and watch them do it.